welcome back to my channel i am sam and we are playing the quarry probably part 13 or 14 yeah. continue We will. Every okay. Tuscan Dano through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. Sure, yeah. We're here to lead the way. That meets for life, we're proud to I'm say. Sick. Shout it straight and shout it loud. We're hackateers. Two months and you never learn the words. Showtime, motherfuckers. What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? No! We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. What the? outside well, there must be something we can oh, do yeah but what <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
Why did it not work? Is there any wrong or something? Thing for the heart. First time my aiming was wrong, I guess I aimed wrong. I missed. What is happening? You got I, it? Yeah. I should blow it. Yeah, I got it. Brains out. Come on. Let me blow its brains out. How did you do it? How did you just keep two innocent people locked up for two months and not even blink? It's pretty cold, man. Did what I had to. It was necessary. Wow. Wrong answer. Necessary? You stole two months of my life. You changed me. I will never, ever be the same because of you. But at least I can move on. You know, I'll heal. You're the one who has to live with what you've done. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf who for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. Oh, they're going to, going to hack it for So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Oh, thanks, guys. He's on the roof. I can't reach the gun. Forget that. Just get in.
Where is the other guy who was behind us? He's sitting in the... He's almost... Like... Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but... Yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? We are getting this Silas guy. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. Go team! We all need guns, right? Only one guy, the call has the gun. The two people are the one. Are we going back to the tarot community? God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but... Then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I think. You think? Well, it sounds better than owner. Wait, well, what does that mean? He was a feral child she found and then kept in a cage like a goddamned animal. If Kaylee had... In a cage, huh? I oh, shut up. Forget I said anything. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hack. One of the kindest gentlest souls to ever walk this earth and all she wanted to do was help that little boy locked in a cage by that freak show witch what did she do she just wanted help him travis she convinced caleb to start a fire it was just a distraction May bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. 
Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. You know, when we came the first time, everything was dark and we did not have... We only had the like, mobile flashlight. Is he trying to? Ryan? <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see... See it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. Same. That where was what is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! For so much death. Says you. Do it. No. Give me the gun. Oh. I should have killed you when I had the chance. If I don't use a life here, uh, I could lose uh, two characters, uh, three characters including the sheriff, but two characters and main characters. So I'm using a life here and I will shoot that monster right now. Hmm. I was just checking what to do, what not to do. Okay. So we are here. See the monster, we shoot the monster. What is it? Come on, so it's yes. dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Shoot. 
please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. The night is almost over. We made some tough decisions in this video. We died twice. This woman is angry now. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. <laughs> I'll never leave you. So the tarot lady will not uh, help us with the cards anymore. So I see sunlight. Uh, I think that was the longest night of the century you mean never seen such a long night never played for such a long night okay i think we can go out now um, Who did we kill? Uh, like, uh... Oh, this was Caleb at it. I think the game is over or something like that. Uh, I think so. So the hacket, uh, so the lady, Silas' mother, I mean, uh, did curse us about not leaving us alone ever. Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't... 
Oh, you see this chrono. Much competition in North Kill. Probably not getting oh, the I best think, uh, writers the game there. Has ended. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural this occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities okay, lie. Go this on. Is gone very anyway, long enough, so. there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some. Yeah. Bye, guys.